want to tell you the purple, like pink glasses, they don't exist. Like, you have to be ready in life for everything. <laughs> <laughs> you what? You're like in life? <laughs> Ah, this is a, this is gonna be long edit. <laughs> 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 yes. Are you taller than me sitting? No, I'm just fatter huh? than you, so I look big. That's why. See? Nice. We're in like a movie. Up. Up. So, this is the uh, most dangerous creature on earth <laughs> and is capable of uh, like many... Uh, <laughs> many what? Uh, many very bad, bad things, yes. Am I like a hurricane or something? Oh, no, worse. You're more like a meteorite. Do <laughs> uh, you remember how long has it been since we got married? Since September. October, November, December, January, February, March. All oh, six months. It's huh? Maggie right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh April God. and May. Yeah, I'm gonna say when. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> uh, uh, let me be. I'm still in March. Yeah, by the way, um, she is two years older than me. <sighs> she was in college when I was in elementary school. Yeah. I was at your age when I met you. Yeah, people were wondering about how we met. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, quite a story. I have a mistake. <laughs> a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. <laughs> I was 23, and you are? 26. You're 25. Ah, just over your birthday. Yeah. Wow, you're three years older than me. Yeah, it's like 21 years in Belgium. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> so mean. Yeah, she was... <laughs> To kind of problem. One day I'm gonna end up with a younger wife, I'm gonna end up with an older husband. It's all okay. It's all okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thanks for watching our video. <laughs> no, so I went on vacation in Korea for two weeks. So I was a flight attendant before. And I traveled a few times before that to Korea and I loved it. But I never spent a lot of days continuously there, so I decided to go on a vacation there. And actually my plan was to explore around, see other cities. I was thinking, okay, you know, I just landed. I had a lot of fun dragging my big suitcase <laughs> by myself <laughs> up the stairs. And actually people were very nice, they wanted to help me. So I was dragging a very, very, very big and very full suitcase. <laughs> because I'm an indecisive packer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, why was it so heavy? Because it packed like I'm moving to Korea. What was in it? I had five different types of shoes. <laughs> you had five different shoes? Yeah, I mean... For a two weeks trip? Huh? Yeah, just like... You know, like I have two pairs of shoes for a three months trip. <laughs> Yeah, I know. And uh, the first night when I actually went out, I met with uh, Ida and then um, she just started showing me random bars and clubs. And we actually had a lot of fun. I actually liked the area a lot and there was like a lot of foreigners and uh, young people. I felt very old. <laughs> I felt extremely old there. And uh, you know, like I didn't think much of it. In the end, I was not sure. I started feeling tired. I met him in the last club. <laughs> So we went to be one and I, from the door I saw you. Mm -hmm. uh, you were right, really close to the door. Mm -hmm. And um, I know I just thought, no, like, he's a good looking guy. He was shirtless at the time. He like yeah, uh, losing his shirt. I'm the only guy who is shirtless. No, there was like a lot of shirtless guys, but I know he, he was the biggest shirtless guy there at, at that moment. Yes. <laughs> so I just thought, you know, like, he's a really good looking guy. But I didn't thought much of it. Then we were table next to each other, but we were turned to each other by back. <laughs> no, I noticed you. The view was in the direction I can see you. So then we went to eat monster pizza, and um, we decided to go back to B1. He disappeared, and after maybe 10 minutes there, he showed up. Yeah, I probably went to La Banda, or uh, like, uh, uh, what's the other one zigzag? And then his friend was there as well, so we kind of ended up all four of us. Like, yeah, shout out to Nasty Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we started like just talking and uh, yeah, that's how we met. Mm -hmm. Actually, he ruined all my plans of visiting all the other cities. All those two weeks that I planned of like... Where were we trying to go? 
I wanted to go to Busan to you know, like other cities, places. I wanted to see like more of Seoul. I'm sure, I'm going to Busan is nice. In <laughs> I know, hours. but like yeah. you, you happened, and then he ruined all my plans. And uh, I stayed with him for two weeks. Um, I don't think we separated at all for those two weeks. No. Like I, none of us were really thinking of a relationship or anything. Yeah, I didn't have an idea of I wasn't planning on actually getting married ever. But at, yeah, at the time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even have a girlfriend there. We're just like hanging out, having fun, and and we just you know, like started hanging out without even like you know, like we, we kind of didn't even ask each other, oh, do you want to hang out again or something? It's just like yeah, it came naturally. It came naturally, it just uh, continued happening. Uh, can I explain what I was doing like before until yeah, yeah. Up to the point I met you? I think I was 22, 21. Yeah, I was 22 when I joined the army. Um, and before that, I was studying in the United States for seven years, and I was actually going to college in the United States as an exercise science major. I went to the army, and I was—I turned 23, but I didn't want to go back to college. I was working in one of the club in Hongdae. It's called B1. Shout out to Sean and all the other B1 crew. Uh, still working there. <laughs> yeah, and he's a—he's a manager. They're also perfect. I have no idea how they work there. Like this, like it's really hard work. They're place. young huh? people full of energy. Anyway, so one day, like it was my off day, I went out like after the gym. <laughs> that sounded like a real stud. Yeah, just hanging out, like seeing my like usual friends. And I actually noticed her coming down. And she thought I didn't notice her, but I noticed her because uh, she was a good looking lady there. Was yeah, like it was literally that spark of a moment. Uh, like if I didn't decide to go out and be one, I probably would never matter. Yeah. 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 Things kind of clicked from there. Like first time, like when I was, when I was talking to her, honestly, I didn't know where Serbia was. Huh? I was just say she's from Serbia. I studied in America, so like geography should not be a thing. <laughs> okay, I should they be saying suck that. Yeah. Okay. You know, like first time I saw you, but like uh, first time when you were talking about, oh, you can come to Dubai and we can hang out and stuff. I thought she was a uh, daughter of some rich, yeah, like just spending money around and like she yeah, doesn't he... have to wor worry a thing about money. Yeah, because I, I don't know how he thought I'm um, obviously not working or something. Um, maybe because of my attitude, I do mostly look like a spoiled girl. Yeah, that's very true. Oh, thank you, you said it yourself. I know I'm high maintenance, but that's why I hard work to pay off. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, um, I know I'm terrible, but like I gave him that impression. You told me that before. Yeah, but then he figured that I'm just a normal working girl. And then he was debating. <laughs> Anyways. We I spent those two, two weeks together. At my place in Chilling. Yeah, Chilling, just like he showed me the area around. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the gym as well there together. He was showing me how he works out. Mm -hmm. um, just. He introduced me to a lot of new food there mm -hmm. that I was obsessed with, especially yeah. the jajangmyeon. She <laughs> loves the jajangmyeon, but the thing is, later I found out she has celiac disease. I don't have celiac, like we don't no, know no, if no, I no, have. Okay. I have gluten okay, intolerance. Let me rephrase that. We are suspecting she might have celiac, so she should probably not be eating it. He didn't know because he was not supposed to know that I have some uh, gluten issues, and I enjoyed my two weeks of being guilty and eating all the food that I'm not supposed to eat. The food was like, amazing and I was addicted to the judgment. Yeah, that's why I'm scared to take you to Korea because like, uh, God knows if you're going to be on a diet or not. Korean yes. barbecue in Korea, they're tough. I'm like, she probably <laughs> married me because, you know, Korean foods are nice. You know, looks and Korean food. Yeah. yeah, I can make some Korean food because my dad is a chef. Yeah, he cooks very well. I like his cooking. Though, sometimes they're a bit spicy, but I think I adjusted to it. It's not spicy. Her tongue is just very sensitive. I mean, in Serbia, we just don't eat a lot of spicy food. And our spices are very different. Which is not spicy. <laughs> I mean, he tried our food, like... Yeah, there's it can be very spicy, but like, it's no, differently like, spicy. Not spicy food. Like, our I... paprika, spicy paprika. It's like a juice. For you. Anyways, I grew up yeah, eating like those things. Honestly, after living in Dubai for almost five years, I came with like zero tolerance to spice, and then in Dubai I made it like up to like, let's say, 30%. Mm -hmm. I can tolerate. Yeah, now she loves kimchi. How about oh, you? Oh, kimchi I love. I, yeah, like... I adore. I can live on kimchi only. No, you can't. You need a bagel. I need bread. Yeah, I eat kimchi with bread. He filmed that once yeah, in like, Korea. <laughs> I am like it. That's a culture shock for me. Yeah, but because what bread is for me, that's rice for you, right? I mean, like, eat. 
on. <laughs> yeah, I, but you, you grew up with rice. I grew up with bread. Mm-hmm. I cannot live without bread. I like. I'm. I'm having an issue. Well, you are not supposed to have bread because she got to work um, and she has to go back to Dubai to work. After that, we can only see a couple times. Only when she has a flight to South Korea. Yeah. She invited me to come to her place, and I actually lived there for like in total almost like eight yeah. eight, eight, eight months. Almost a whole year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much a whole year in Dubai. Uh, it was an amazing time. Like I, it actually opened up my vision for the world. Even I lived in the United States, but I didn't see the Middle East, for example. I've never been there. With her job, like I could, with a relatively cheaper price, I could actually travel around all over the world. We went to Mauritius, we went there on vacation. We've been to Paris, we've been to Germany, we've been Swiss. to Switzerland, yeah, with Ireland. Yeah, Ireland, Dublin, we went there. Yeah. Um, you went with, to Serbia with me? Yeah, Serbia. Yeah, I love Serbia. Honestly, like especially the food. Yeah, I got to see a lot of countries in Europe, Africa, like Middle East. Yeah, so like a lot of different cultures, a lot of different food, a lot of different people. Mm. Yeah, it, yeah, it definitely helped me with opening my eyes up. And that's pretty much how we survived our long distance. And uh, because we spent a lot of time together, like either on flights in other countries, mm-hmm. I was trying to be in Korea almost every month. Either that was a short layover, but it helped us at least to see each other. Oh. He kind of made himself available in a way to have more free time to sp- come and spend um, with me in Dubai. Um, I think both of us like kind of tried to sacrifice as much as we could to make make it work. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that's how we went through it. Huh? Yeah. Beautiful story. 2023, September 26th, we got married. Yeah, after a year. We got married after mm-hmm. a year, full year. Yeah. yeah. After one year and... and he was really happy with the date because um, it was the day after his birthday. Mm-hmm. So he will not forget yeah. our wedding anniversary. I'm actually glad. Like, that was... Kind of planned. Uh, September 26th, yeah. we got married. Yeah. Funny thing is, she actually came from Dubai to Korea to work. And while she was like busy, like she was supposed to rest, but yeah, you know, we had to do what we had to do. I brought her to my uh, place. I love his place, by the way, the area where um, he lived and where mm-hmm. his parents live. It's so pretty. Yeah. I fall in love with the mountains and the mm-hmm. mornings there mm-hmm. with the fog. Uh-huh. Is that how you call it? Yeah. And the river. Yeah, and the river. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So pretty much um, that's it. Yeah. Well, I got married on a layover. <laughs> I think our whole relationship is actually not. It's very not traditional. Yeah, like they're very different from all the other. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people would be confused. Like, are you? Like in a relationship, are you engaged? Are you married? No, people probably want to be married. Because no, yeah, but like there was a lot of comments before. Uh, why on one video it says uh, my girlfriend and fiance and a wife? You know, like it was so quick. Yeah. Um. So that's why I say that we don't have that conventional style of like re- relationship and marriage and um. It just, it just kind of goes in a different way that more works for us than what's kind of considered as normal but we do want to have a proper wedding and uh, to make a ceremony and to um, celebrate with our friends and family um, in the future uh, we will still decide when it's gonna happen but there is a plan to do that as well and to have a proper honeymoon and all those things <laughs> oh, the Mauritius was kind of our honeymoon it was pre-honeymoon pre-honeymoon <laughs> it was I, I really love to travel it's really kind of hard to make him like accept travel yeah, not, uh... so that was a pre-honeymoon okay and then now it has to be a honeymoon and then because it's so late it has to have two honeymoons one to say sorry that it's so late and then a real honeymoon you understand it works like that. <laughs> mm, we told them pretty much everything. Yeah, say. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> Did I say it wrong? No, you said it right. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. Uh, everything perfect except for annyeong. Annyeong. Annyeonghaseyo. Yeah, that's better. Say it louder. Annyeonghaseyo. Hmm. Brate, brate, brate. Ah, brate. You put foundation? Oh my god. I, I have to look pretty for the video. You actually look better without the makeup on. Don't say it. Okay. You have sparkles on your face. 
I hate this. Shiny, Rena. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Easily. Bye. That's a wrap.